there have been a lot of opinions floating around online about the latest Sims 4 game pack. So today let's talk about how simmers are really feeling about the Sims 4 My Wedding stories. So let's start with some of the good things that people have been saying about the pack. First of all, we have the new world called Tartosa. It's a Mediterranean inspired world and it's quite big. It has nine lots to build on. It has a beach, a town center. The world is just really beautiful and also quite big for a game pack standard. So overall, at least the new world has been received quite positively. Another thing that people have generally liked about the pack are the creatism items and the build by mode items. There also seems to be at least some diversity within the items as well. There are some items that cater towards weddings for different cultures and not just the Western weddings that have been heavily represented in the game before. This of course doesn't cover as much diversity as could have been possible. For example, there still isn't much representation for African cultures, which also isn't present in any other part of the game. There's also been another point of criticism raised for the creatism items, which is the underrepresentation of masculine clothing and hair in the pack. This is a very common problem in The Sims 4 and this pack is no exception to that. For example, this user on Twitter shared a screenshot highlighting the balance in feminine clothing option and masculine clothing options. And you can see that there just isn't as big as a selection for masculine items as there is for feminine items. So for example, while there are four feminine hairstyles, there is only one masculine hairstyle. All right, let's dive into the gameplay. Oh boy, <laughs> the gameplay. So I think the main thing on everybody's mind is that it's broken. The game pack does not work. And while some of the early bugs have been fixed in the recent game updates, the game still has a lot of things that just don't work. And this can be anything from wedding events literally not being able to take place, but also new animations and interactions that are not working. There's this one user on Twitter that shared a clip of their Sims walking down the aisle. And well, you can say that it doesn't quite go the way that it's supposed to. And at the time of recording this, it's also still not possible to throw weddings at the wedding venue lot type, which is kind of the only thing they were designed to do. And then let's talk about the gameplay itself. So even if the pack worked properly, there are a lot of simmers who are sharing that they find that the gameplay just involves way too much micromanagement. Every single interaction and animation has to be set up by the player themselves. So this involves a lot of clicking. Some of the interactions have multiple parts as well. So for toasting, you have to set up the sim doing the toast, but you also have to gather the sims to listen to the toast. You have to make your sim walk down the aisle before the wedding starts and up the aisle after the wedding ends. There's just a lot of clicking and things you have to manage yourself. And while this does lead to a lot of customization in your weddings, a lot of it hasn't been automated. So you really have to be on top of it all of the time to make the weddings work. So that is the overall opinion about The Sims 4 My Wedding Stories. Let me know how you feel about the new pack in the comments below. That is all for today. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again soon.